so today's class is basically good evening everybody today's class is a uh, little bit of uh, whatever you have covered okay so today uh, this is the history of computers and the uh, everything will be given to you just i quickly show you that what we cannot show in the our classroom because the presentation so this is the latest 1950s the computer earlier they are all mechanical machines uh, this mechanical machines basically you know the finite state machine and uh, from the push down automata and turing machine the this is the mesh revolution comes say uh, push down automata i have told in the class in 1952 and turing machine alan turing developed 1936 is a theoretical machine uh, von neumann uh, actually developed the uh, hardware for it anyway uh, is everything is uh, you i again repeat uh, uh, whatever the machines we have abacus or uh, before our calculator definitely uh, these all these machines Uh, before 1950s uh, are all our finite state machine and you know finite state machine nothing but regular expression and all these things no programming can be done because for programming you need a, a push down automata or turing machine both are required for different sets of problem i have told in the class uh, say you have a matching parenthesis because every program in c program or java program except python python the indentation is developed by indentation is by the blank spaces which is not easily visible uh, the indent uh, the modules are uh, encapsulated by the second bracket opening and closing you remember uh, your uh, uh, our c program it is always um, within this uh, main after main it will be second bracket opening and closing and uh, that order should be there the how can you match the second bracket opening and closing without push down automata i have told you again that turing machine and also can solve the uh, matching of the opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis but the uh, complexity will be more in turing machine though turing machine is more powerful machine what does it mean by powerful powerful means it can understand many other nuances like w just a minute this like w hash excuse me yeah uh, like uh, like w hash w it cannot be solved by a push down automata but w hash w r it is very efficiently solved by a push down automata so the uh, this uh, 1950s 1952 the push down automata is developed designed and 1936 theoretical paper of turing machine but actual computer comes after 1954 55 60 they take down both the features of the turing machine and the push down automata okay let's go to the next slide uh, these are all documentations anyway so this is the uh, jackard's loom uh, this is uh, the programming is done by here here also no concept of it is a basically finite state machine but this thing now we go for von neumann you know the von neumann architecture you have covered in the your computer regression class what the von neumann said that the programs and the data will be in the same memory area you think of the turing machine the tape i have mentioned the beginning portion is the program and the rest portion is the data which is readable and writable so actually von neumann take the cue from the turing paper and develop this machine uh, you can ask we can have a different tape because tape is a symbolic here Uh, the instead of tape von neumann uh, memory primary memory by the transistors at that time at the at the tape valves and the, the, the this is the, this is the thing okay anything you can understand is please tell me mm. acha another thing uh, in the class 
I have not. I have told you that the uh, finite state machine, regular expression, regular set, deterministic finite machine, non-deterministic finite machine, all are same. If you get hold of one of it, you can get it others. And these, all these things, can be solvable in polynomial time. But that cannot be said in the next higher level of machine and corresponding the grammar is context free grammar. Remember regular grammar is also context free grammar because left hand side should be a single variable. But the context free grammar says the right hand side uh, should be any string, it can be any string and there is no restriction that the variable at the beginning or at the end. Remember in the regular uh, language case the right hand portion the variable should be always at the end for the right linear grammar and or variable should be always at the beginning and any string after that is a for left linear grammar. But context field grammar says the left is uh, left uh, is always a singular variable single variable and right hand is any damn string string consists of variables and terminals there is no such restriction that the it should be uh, variable at the left or right and also i have told in the last class that for comp for computer parsing generally the context free grammar is the whole gamut of grammar but the core portion of it is deterministic context free grammar the deterministic context free grammar it is very easy to give you an example by a to the power n b to the power n many number of a's and number of b's are same or w hash w r these are the examples of the deterministic uh, context free grammar and the corresponding production rules will be available. I will I'll, I'll only cover but the remember this uh, all this uh, deterministic context free grammar and deterministic push down automata is same. So, but for any grant, but the problem comes from the regular grammar to context free grammar because for a, any regular grammar for any regular grammar you must have a same finite state machine you cannot have two finite state machine definitely the finite state machine should be the minimization of states so any regular grammar can be solved by a uh, maybe three state finite state machine four state finite machine but four state finite state machine we know how to minimize by the finite state machine but that is be unique but in context free grammar the there are two grammars say deterministic context free grammar they produce the same uh, they, they different looks that their constructs are different but this they generate the same string but the problem is there is no such algorithm that you can prove that uh, context free grammar one and context free grammar 2 is the same because this is I have told you this is one of the uh, uh, this is uh, not solvable problem like Turing halting problem that there are many problems are there uh, but you can empirically see by uh, by trying it uh, repeated number of times that uh, the grammar are equivalent anyway this is uh, undecidable okay undecidable but it is um, undecidable there is no such unique thing anyway uh, but fortunately the context free grammar the portion the we use are all in programming languages generally converted in machine in Chomsky's normal form I have covered Chomsky's normal form let us proceed here I what I mentioned language that are generated by context free are context free languages this thing Okay, this I have covered. The these are the typical a to the power n b to the power is a context free grammar. This uh, slide is very important, but again and again it will be solved. 
this is regular grammar you all know finite state machine this is context free grammar here you see a and this gamma it is basically gamma uh, it is a, a string is a non deterministic but this is this can be one portion of his deterministic context free grammar a deterministic push down another is non deterministic non deterministic push down automata we are uh, doing it for all theoretical purpose whenever you will next semester you will go for compiler courses we will mostly we will mostly concentrate about the deterministic context free grammar deterministic push down machine and the uh, final regular expression and all this this non deterministic push down automata unlike non deterministic finite state machine non deterministic push down automata is power is more than deterministic push down automata non deterministic finite state machine power is same as a deterministic finite state machine we know we have proved but non deterministic push down machine has more power it can understand palindrome odd palindrome even palindrome without any it can it can guess and it will always guess correctly remember uh, non deterministic means it will guess and guess it is always lucky and another interesting is context sensitive grammar you just here the left hand side it can be any string right hand side can be any string uh, remember this context sensitive grammar in whole literature is bit neglected because turing machine can solve this problem turing machine linear bounded which means the turing machine i have told you the tape head can go left to infinity right to infinity but if you bound it that then it is called bounded turing machine the same is linear bounded automata and uh, sample grammar is, i have told in the class a to the power n b to the power n c to the power n or a to the power n b to the power n c to the power n d to the power n all these are context sensitive grammar and uh, for actual understanding this grammar because ultimately what is this you have a grammar you generate from start variable generate say st string of terminals and string of terminals whenever you are feeding into a machine to your compiler or interpreter that terminals should go to parse it and sh actually how it derives from the start variable on ambiguous way that is the parsing tree and it should be done by linear time great the regular expression can be done in regular time regular uh, linear time and uh, same goes for deterministic push down automata and deterministic context free grammar not all of it a portion of it a uh, sizable good portion of deterministic context free grammar which can be done by ll1 parsing and lr1 parsing i will tell what is ll1 and what is lr1 this is called parsing techniques and you can get unambiguous grammar there are lots of unambiguous grammar in in this subsection of deterministic context free grammar and all the programming languages 99% of the programming language constructs are developed by this deterministic context free grammar where the parsing should be done should be in linear time like regular but actually this is the time is uh, for uh, other grammar that is for deterministic context other than deterministic context free grammar it can be o in cube or more so we cannot infinitely wait at the compile time if my if my size is program is 10 lines it will take 1 second and if its size is 100 lines we can wait for 10 seconds so it could be linear but if i have a 1 second here and 100 lines if we have to wait 10 to the power 4 or 10 to the power 6 that means it is not linear so what are the main restriction of all programming language construct or formal language construct that the parsing first thing parsing should be parsing tree should be unique no double meaning and the parsing should be done in linear time that is guaranteed by a 
sizable subsection of grammar that is deterministic context free grammar LL1 and LR1 grammar. We will tell, we will go to this detail and uh, what is this grammar that is this is we know type 3 context free grammar is type 2 uh, type 3 type 2 and this is con type 1 and recursively enumerable it is type 0. Type 0 means here I must tell you in final state machine uh, a, after you make your rules little bit behaved that your only start variable go to epsilon only start can go epsilon it must because you know start variable start is a variable or non terminal in whenever you will explode the start variable to a sentence sentence composed of terminals remember in english language sentence composed of words here is not words no concept of words here sentence is concept of terminals that terminals the sentence should vanish uh, must be vanish so s can goes to epsilon or lambda must be a rule any grammar it is always true same for context free grammar same for context sensitive grammar same from recursive grammar but what is the difference between context free grammar uh, what is the difference between context sensitive grammar and recursively human grammar it looks same but here see here in the context free grammar only start variable can go to epsilon no other variable and here same only start variable can go to epsilon so if you take mod of mod means length mod of left side and if you take mod of right side it cannot decrease that means mod the length of this side must be equal to or same or greater than than this but here there is no restriction so that say i have a uh, variable i have a uh, say variable here say here i have a variable small a capital s can go to epsilon that means vanish so this grammar is very very tough but that is also sizable portion of turing machine can solve it any questions i think uh, confusion is there i is sure but ask any questions only thing i am telling for all these three grammar type 3 grammar type 2 grammar context sensitive grammar only the start variable can go to epsilon and right hand side the right hand side of the rule the length of the rule length total number of terminals that would be generated that for string should not be less than left hand side same for context as but recursively enumerable the number of terminals can decrease uh, that is very difficult yes any question please Ritam, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, any question, please? Any question? This is uh, you don't have to be just any question. Anybody can ask. Yeah, tell me. Ritam. Sir, in context sensitive grammar, the yeah, yeah. left hand side uh, yeah. is uh, less than the right hand side. No, uh, great. Your question is con uh, uh, regular grammar, left hand side can be variable only, no other thing. Okay in context free grammar left hand side will can only be variable ok so what is the difference between regular and context free the regular the other variable only other variable should be at the end or should be at the beginning there are no other rules you cannot have that is uh, if at the end that is here it is a right linear grammar but if we have a another grammar which starts a c which at the beginning then it will not be a regular grammar it will come to default to context free grammar context free grammar says the left hand side should be a single variable and right hand side any damn string consisting of variables and terminals but only restriction is only start variable can go to epsilon and no other variable can go to epsilon that's it you context free grammar if you understand that that is fine 
But okay, sir. in my earlier class, uh, you are not there at that class. I remember that uh, this grammar, uh, this any dance string, can be converted to Chomsky's normal form. What the Chomsky's normal form said that any string can be converted only two variables or single terminals, and otherwise, and another is start variable can go to epsilon. So, what is the uh, Chomsky's normal form then from context free grammar? I will cover in the next slide that left hand side a single variable, right hand side only two variables and uh, regular grammar variable at the end or at the beginning, but here there should be two variables, no other terminals and or a terminal, nothing else, no else. That is Chomsky's normal form. So, should not confuse any context free grammar, I can show you that by suitable taking new variables, I can convert any context free grammar to Chomsky's normal form. There is another form is Greyback normal form, another form is S grammar, forget about it. This you have to understand, this is I have already told regular language. Uh, this is very important, deterministic context free language, deter uh, same as deterministic push down automata, the same, like finite state machine, regular expression, regular set, non the same, the deterministic context free language and deterministic push down automata, example is the parenthesis grammar, parenthesis grammar is bracket opening, bracket close, like all our programming languages, a to the power n, b to the power n is another example. Another example is W hash WR is another example and both are type 2, please do not confuse, this is type 3 and non-deterministic context free language, this very tough and we generally should not use this grammar in our formal language, but for our syllabus it is there, example grammar is palindrome, example grammar is A to the power N, B to the power N, C to the power N, uh, all this you cannot you by conceptual you can think if in one push down automata if i can count number of a's and number of b's you can think if i have two push down automata so that i can uh, balance a to the power n b to the power n c to the power n but it is it cannot be please think i'll ask the question next next class question is like a to the power n, b to like here in regular language, a to the power m, b to the power n, m for mango, n for nagaland. No relation between m and n. I can easily do it by finite state machine. I do not need push down automata. Agreed? Agreed. Yes, now I come to this area deterministic context free grammar a to the power n, n for nagaland, b to the power n, n for nagaland. Now, I need a stack to uh, uh, push A's and whenever one B is coming, I can pop one A so that my tape is finished and my stack is empty. So, I can understand the language A to the power N, B to the power N. Agreed? Yes, sir. Now, my question is that will ask you whenever I will meet you in the classroom or tomorrow like a to the power n, b to the power n, c to the power n, this language, it cannot be deterministic context free language. You can say it by one stack, I count a, I can have one more stack to count b, so that when the c comes, a to the power n, b to the power n, c to the power n, whenever the c's are coming, I will pop one a, I will one stack, pop b for one stack, for two stack machine, I can manage it. My question is, is it possible? It, it is, it is conceptually not possible. Uh, am I clear? So, this is your task, m whether a two stack machine can we do it. You whenever you say two stack, it will not be pushed on automata. So, Push down automata should have only one and only stack. Okay, is Jinya, uh, uh, my question is clear? Return question is clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. 
so all this kind and another is a to the power n b to the power n c to the power n d to the power n all these languages are type 2 this is context sensitive grammar if you study the rules you can see it the left hand side will be always cannot be a context free we will see it so till now let it be there we will proceed the next slide I have told you again and again the 1936 the Alan Turing machine comes and uh, this uh, the hierarchy of the language this comes later uh, so it is kind of a Ramayan sort of thing the Ramayan is probably uh, common thing is perception is Ramayan is written before the born of Ram the whole uh, Pujita Nautomata uh, the type of grammar this type of grammar is done single handedly by one great scientist like uh, Noam Chomsky he is still a living legend he is a pacifist uh, pacifist is who works for peace in the world like this so he is a great linguist he is uh, so he developed uh, this concept uh, not only he got this concept like all the types this one is very uh, I like this slide uh, this slide uh, I want to show you the what is the effect of determinism and non-determinism non-determinism always go to the correct path lucky path say you are basic a toy uh, you 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 say in a I always give an example you are in a desert a big desert like this our uh, Sahara desert in Africa and uh, you, like Turing machine I have given example a, a strips in the desert and a read right head is moving across so in a desert you always take the coin if the one road is going then the left side right side and another road left side right side so you are starting from the desert you always take the lucky decision and always the correct so this is the correct way so non-deterministic finite state machine if it is realizable now it is comp com quantum computing comes and all these things comes so maybe I cannot say it cannot be realizable but it is very costly to make because you are firing in all cylinders and one of the quickest way you should accept it but deterministic finite state machine can do the same thing if you give enough time so that's the deterministic computation and non-deterministic computation in the case of regular language but in push down automata we know that w hash w r you can hash is your big point so whenever the w string is coming you push them onto the stack whenever the hash is coming then you know I have to pop from the stack and their matches so that is a deterministic push down automata but if you omit hash w w r language so w is a language say a triple b and uh, this language is triple b a but you don't give hash so what the non-deterministic push down automata will do it will take it will think if now hash is coming now probably that this is the midpoint it replicates that push on automata many times and one path it will be correct and you know if one path is got to correct that is the machine accepts so non deterministic push on automata is very tough to design almost impossible but its power is more because what the non-deterministic push on automata can understand the language like w w r without midpoint that never never can be understood by a deterministic push on automata without explicit explicit support of hash any anything this is our told you production symbol here you see here you see the left hand side is single variable 
and right hand side is string alpha alpha can be any damn thing set of variables v union t terminals with some star means any repetition from this so right hand side can be left hand side should be single variable right hand side you can write it this form you should know it is variable union terminal with the regular expression star means it may zero when it can be zero for star variable it should be zero because star variable must vanish so star variable goes to epsilon in that case it will be zero epsilon a star can be zero and for any other repetition it can be epsilon yeah that is star variable and no other variable should go to epsilon remember this is a context free grammar same go for context sensitive grammar only star variable can go to epsilon but in type zero grammar which can only be understood by turing machine other than star variable any other variable can go to epsilon simultaneously so your right hand and left hand left hand is a string consist of variables and terminals right hand side production variables and terminals the generally right hand side should be at least equal to or more but for type zero grammar for for maybe one rule it can it, uh, decrease it can be less that is the reason it is called type zero it is very very difficult grammar to understand parts but turing machine some portion of it turing machine can solve okay pds accept context free language so this is absolutely true context free language absolute grammar yeah convert yeah this is obvious that i am telling you right now okay now i yeah okay okay thank you